Welcome back guys to another episode of Life is Strange. So in the last episode we had just figured out that we can turn back time at any moment that we want to, which is pretty cool. So this teacher is asking us why we haven't turned in our homework yet and we're about to use one of his own quotes on him. Check this out. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max. You're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Hell yeah, all right, cool. So now we have got to get to the bathroom as quick as possible and stop the murder. There's a crazy no way, kid. I don't have time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Crazy kid that has a gun. It's about to pull it on somebody else. So we gotta go save him. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Now is when it happens. Them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Now what are we gonna do? What are you doing? Oh, in case of emergency, on, break glass. Tell me what to do. Well, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. I need a hammer to break it open. Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody looks like Samuel forgot to take the cleaning cart out of here. Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help. Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! No, he has a gun. I should do something else. Can we rewind it far enough? Don't there we go. Ever tell me what to do? I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Yes. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. We're able to save her quick enough. Okay. Whew. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. All right. Good stuff. Get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble. For a false alarm. Alright, we gotta get out of here, man. Goodness gracious, this Hold is a on, crazy. Max. Ooh. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. She should definitely tell him that that kid had a gun. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. 
Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. He doesn't seem too concerned. After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Damn. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Okay, so we're going to back this up. We're going to change our story. I didn't realize this was so corrupt, so now we're going to be able to, to talk to him. You look a little stressed out. And tell him otherwise. Go ahead and hide the truth there. Class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. What an asshole. All right. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Oh, shoot. Yes, so I could rewind. Both, both actions have consequences. All right. So we just got to go with our gut from now on. There's no right or wrong. Everything's going to have something a little bit different. All right. Chilling outside. Should we go get some pictures or something? We can get a good picture for our photog class. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. I feel like if I was given this power, I wouldn't think there was a specific reason. I'd just be like, baller, I can do whatever I want. Go streak naked through the school and then rewind it, act like nothing happened. <laughs> just do a bunch of crazy stuff. All right, should we go to the dormitories? Should we talk to some people? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Uh-oh! Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? That's Not the really. missing girl, if you guys I don't remember from the first the episode. Cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click, but I heard insane stories about Rachel. Man, all right, so uh, things are heating up here. Uh-oh, what is this? New mail from Warren? I'm going to see you shortly, hope so. Uh-oh. Hmm. If you want to meet for coffee after school, I need an excuse not to study, please. Make sure you check out Necromatic on my flash drive. Mwaha. Hey, Max, let's bust shit up. We have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we have to measure its velocity. <laughs> oh, good lord. Don't ignore this message. Hey, Max, can you get to my flash drive? Wow, this guy is thirsty as hell. Um, 
Okay. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. So let's go to the dormitory. So is Warren our boyfriend or something? Dormitories are this way. Nice! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Is he just a friend or is he a little bit more than friends? Yeah. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, biatch. Wow, look at these girls. Awesome. Assholes. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, no. the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yeah. What a biatch, dude! Out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay. Oh, nice! We're gonna pump up the sprinklers. <laughs> Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Nice. Good work. Can't stand catty bitchy girls. Do you understand English? Get lost. I need to pump it up again? Can we do it again? Can't do that again. Uh oh. <gasps> that paint can. Yes. We're going to try rewinding all the way back to when Samuel was raking leaves. Okay, so now I wonder if we can mess with the paint bucket right here. Ah, tamper. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see if this works. Solid. Wait, hold on. We gotta turn up the sprinklers before he gets up there. Nice. We gotta get him to move. What the hell? Nice. Got her off the step. Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look now. I can't even chill on the steps. It should spill all over. Here we go. Awesome. No, <laughs> no fucking you okay, way. Victoria. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Just get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitch. Hell yeah. Screw this bitch. Can we, like, taunt her? Make fun of her? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Hmm. Let's comfort her. We can make a friend. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. No. He's one of my heroes. 
Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. Well, can I go you inside now? Shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Nice. All right. That was mean, but pretty funny. No. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. All right. Well, we kind of halfway made a friend there. That's good stuff. Let's go into the Victoria dorm. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. 